the Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990. Even if you don't have a documentable income, maybe you're a business owner and you know you got a great accountant and he writes off as much as he possibly can and you don't think that you can afford to buy a new house, give us a call. Again, 800 306 1990 Geneva's got the programs and the products. Take a look at the markets today. The Dow, the S and P 500 down 88.69 now. Ten year Treasury down seven basis points. Mortgage backed securities down or up 28 basis points. We'll give this number to you because we do every morning. OBMMI provides the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and, and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry, calculated from actual locked rates with consumers across 35% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. Loans yesterday locked at 5.342. Down a little bit from the day before. 5.342 is a 30-year conforming loan. Four and a half was the 15-year conforming. Jumbo's 4.75 and the FHA loan 5.24. But I know you didn't turn on Ron Siegel Radio to hear some data that you might be able to find elsewhere. You want to know why this is happening. Well, a lot of it has to do with what's going on in the marketplace. Housing news, new home sales measures, signed contracts on new homes were down 8.6% in March to a 763,000 annualized pace, which is in line with expectations. If you were listening to Diana Olick this morning, and you should not, she came up with some bogus information talking about the market being down 8.6% in March, but did not say that there was a positive revision for the prior month of 8%. So were we really down that much? Yeah, less than 1%. Year-over-year -year sales, they're down 12.6%. The median home price for, and again, this is nationwide new homes, 436700 which is up 21% year-over-year -year and points to an increase in higher-priced homes. The average price home came in at 523,900, which is up 26%. There were, ready for this, only 407,000 homes for sale at the end of March, up 33% from last year. But here's the catch. Only 35%, 35,000 or 9% are actually completed. So the rest of them can't be sold. 6.3 months supply when you factor in homes you can move into today. It's about half a month. Is that really bad, Miss Olick? Maybe you should look, instead of trying to just sell, oh, wait a second, it's CNBC. Maybe she can go over to CNN Plus because they don't sell anything there either. Nobody watches. Case Schiller, Home Price Index, which is considered the gold standard for appreciation. So home prices rose 1.7% in February, 19.8% year over year. Not a bad investment, is it, Miss Olick? Uh, top three performing cities, Phoenix, 33%. Tampa, 33%. Miami, 30%. San Diego, you were up 4.5% monthly. Seattle, 4.4%. Look at some of those numbers. Now, these numbers, now FHFA, they give their house price index, measures home price appreciation on single-family homes, conforming loan limits. So think about this one, previous month, 2.1%, 19.4% year over year. Is that a bad investment? Is that something you want to stay away from? And hey, you know something? I tell you this all the time. You have a choice where to live. It just costs a little bit extra if you want a roof over your head. Just throw that out there for you. That's the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990.